What's up guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make one of my all time favorite meals while growing up and that is chicken adobo. With a short ingredient list, this dish is super easy to make. The two main flavor components are vinegar and soy sauce. I'm gonna show you how to make it, come on. I like to get the simplest of tasks out of the way and rice, you can totally cook in advance so that's what I'm doing. I use two cups of jasmine rice, washed and rinsed it several times to remove all the starch should look cloudy like this and when the water is clear like this you're ready to go don't wash the rice in the insert as the coating will deteriorate over time i actually read the instructions to the rice cooker i use the finger method when measuring rice which is basically to dip your index finger so the tip touches the top surface of the rice and if the water reaches the first crease of your finger you're good Whew. close the lid activate the switch to turn it on Let's move on. All right, guys, for the protein, you can use one and a half to two pounds of chicken thighs and or drumsticks, or you can even use pork or beef. That's entirely up to you. I suggest though, bone in because it imparts flavor and skin on because that equals flavor. Next, we use one cup of Filipino vinegar, which has a milder tang than regular white vinegar. This is what you want to use for adobo. This brand here is really good. A friend also highly suggested a Filipino palm vinegar by Angelina. Now for the soy sauce, we want to use one cup of Filipino soy sauce. This is saltier and has a different flavor than the ever so popular Kikoman brand. Due to the fact that this is a salty soy sauce, we do not want to add additional salt to our dish. Next, we want to use one to two teaspoons of peppercorns. In this case, I used a medley, white, black, and green. You may not like to bite into peppercorns, and I understand why. They will soften after they've been boiled, but if it's too much for you, I would just say sift them out or spoon them to the side when you plate your dish. But I do believe this is a necessary ingredient to achieve that adobo profile. Next we have our bay leaves. We want to use two to three small ones. In case you didn't know, you do not want to break your leaves as they will not dissolve. While you can technically eat them in the culinary world, they serve as a common flavor component during the cooking process only. And for our aromatics, we want to slice one half a medium sized sweet onion and mince three garlic cloves. I guess you can use a little bit more, it's up to you. And for our final ingredient, which is entirely optional, is hard boiled eggs. In my opinion, it is a fantastic complement to your adobo. Mm. And that color contrast is pretty cool. When you cut that open, that hard boiled egg, you will see that bright hardened yellow yolk against that dark, rich, luscious, flavorful sauce of yours. So basically, I'm just going to cover this up, set it in the fridge for about one hour, hour and a half. I don't want to put any more liquid in here than I already have. It's one cup vinegar, one cup soy sauce. So um, it barely uh, reaches the top here. This is the quickest way I know how to remove the egg shell from a hard boiled egg. And basically, I just crack one end of the egg and remove about a quarter size of the shell. Use a teaspoon or a tablespoon to pry away the shell from the actual egg. And it's just as easy as that. Of course, you want to make sure that your hard boiled eggs are cooled down before actually handling them. Especially, of course, when you have kids helping you. All right, now we can start cooking. And we turn that heat on to medium high and obviously added our pot with some oil to coat the bottom there and 
and once it's hot and as you saw that little sizzle there we can add our chicken our goal here is to sear our chicken let some of that fat render About another three to four minutes have gone by and just flipping that so we can see how that browning looks and it looks great. We're gonna go ahead and pour it in the marinade, cleaning that bowl out with some water, pouring it into the pot, adding one more cup of water to the pot. We're gonna turn this up right about now, get that to a boil and that liquid, as you see, barely reaches the surface there, the meat. All right, guys, I'm not sure if you can hear that, but I'll bring my mic a little bit closer. But yeah, the rolling boil, right? So it's sounding great. It's looking fantastic. And I'm just so glad that um, there's a Ranch 99 that literally opened um, this week um, in our area. So I don't have to travel too far to get any sort of um, ingredients for any sort of like island food or Asian food, that sort of thing. So I'm really excited that that's open going back to this it's all coming together real nicely so we're going to probably be looking at another 20 minutes 25 minutes i'm just going to have to eye it roughly 50 minutes have gone by and i'm removing the chicken from the pot the meat is starting to pull away from the bone so those are ready to go that sauce is still on a rolling boil and that will continue to reduce so we can get that flavor that we want. And obviously adding our peeled hard boiled egg into our mix, want to get the whites some color. As I mentioned before, when you slice open that egg, what really pops is that bright yellow hardened yolk against that contrast of the brown, dark, rich, and luxurious adobo sauce. And this here, some all-purpose flour. We're adding some water there to whisk, or in this case, I'm using a fork, so I'm just stirring it up real good. Removing our eggs so we can add our slurry in to thicken up our sauce. And we just bring that to a boil so that all-purpose flour completely dissolves, adding our chicken back in as well as our eggs, and we are done. I hope you try my version of this chicken adobo recipe, guys. It's rich, tangy, a little sweet, and peppery. Don't forget, rice, hard-boiled eggs, and a bit of fresh herbs makes for a perfect accompaniment to this insanely delicious filipino dish as always please like subscribe and smash that notification bell we'll see you on the next one salamat at ingat